Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 566. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 563 to 567. And this trick here, we have uh, some names and some grades. And we want to make a bar chart with the student's name and then their um, a bar representing their grade, except for we want to conditionally format this chart so that all the student scores that are above 80 percent show in a different color. So if I hit F9 to randomize this, you can see only the ones that are above the hurdle uh, get colored. Now this is similar to a video I did, Excel dynamic chart number 16. In that video though, however, we had a dynamic line, right? And so you can, go, this was any, then you could visually see wh how far people were above their average or whatever hurdle you have there. That's uh, Excel dynamic chart uh, 16. This one, in this video, we're going to do similar, except we just wanted the whole bar to be colored. All right, let's come over here. Um, I don't want to do that right there. Let's go ahead and make our bar chart. I'm going to highlight that right there. Go up to Insert, Charts, Bar, and I'm going to go to this one right here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good right there. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to click there and Control-1 and say show the legend at the top and then click the close button right here. Um, and then you could format this however you want. Um, we'll leave that there for now, but now we want to conditionally format these. If I hit F9, we can see things are changing, but no conditional formatting. It means we're going to add a new column to our table right here. And we're going to add it to this, and it will show up as a second column, and we'll say, hey, chart wizards, please um, put that column one on top of the other. In essence, they'll um, uh, be on top of each other, and then we'll color that one differently. Now, the whole trick is a formula here. I'm going to highlight the whole range right here, and I'm going to say equals if ig, that's not a function, if this cell right here divided by the max total, and then I'm going to lock it going down, one dollar sign, if that right there is uh, greater than or equal to this one right here, that's our hurdle. If we could do an average here. In that other video we did an average, you could just put an average function and or maybe have another column with percentages or something, but there it is, average, and then I'm going to hit a hurdle, F4, when that is the case, means it's greater than that, we want to show this. Otherwise, please show double quote, the value of false, which means we're not above that hurdle. Double quote, double quote for blank. Close parentheses, control, enter. Ooh, nobody's above. If I hit the F9, oh, there's some. Now, I'm going to click on the chart, and in 2000 and 7 and 10, I go to design. In earlier versions, you have to open Chart Wizard and do step 2, which, um, allows you to add and delete and edit. We want to add. The series name is going to be this. That'll show up in the legend, which is very nice, and it'll be color-coded. Um, this always comes by default. I always highlight it and hit the delete key. Sometimes if you don't delete it, it before you highlight it uh, messes up. I'm going to click highlight that right there. Click OK. Click OK. Do we want um, it's showing us, um, oh no, that's fine. We have the, the right range there. The only trick is we want to click there, Control-1. Notice Control-1 is uh, format cells and format chart element. Overlap 100%. Click OK. OK, so then we have, if we hit F9, you can see, boom, only the ones that are above the hurdle are formatted. Now you could do all sorts of things here. I kind of like that you know, right here. You could even get fancy. I don't know if this would be fancy. This is probably a mess. Get rid of all of this, right? And then have this go up to uh, Layout, Data, Labels, go all the way down to the bottom, More. And how about, um, that's the value and the category, category name, right? And so now we could uh, hit F9. So there's lots of things we could do, different things we could do with that chart. Um, only the ones that are colored are above that hurdle. All right, we'll see you next trick.